name is Jacob Couch. I'm here at Flow Sports to work my way to the top. And people think that I really want to do this jiu-jitsu thing. I've carried that facade my whole life. I've always really just wanted to just hop on a keyboard every day. The click of the buttons really just does something for me that you know nothing else can do. Just looking at the screen all day, it's like, it's always really been my dream to do something like that. I always loved the nine to five. Eight hours sitting at the same desk. Oh, can't beat it. You just can't beat it. It's not too much about the people or about, it's, you know, not to be shallow or anything, but it's uh, the money. You know, I'm not supposed to tell anybody this, but you told me what you were making for recording me, so I figured out, well, well hell, well, I might as well do that. Instead of just grappling all the time, I want to get paid. <laughs> We're at Flow Sports <coughs> HQ. This is the biggest show that we got to do, and it feels like the guys deserve to be here. The star of the Daisy Fresh series, Andrew Wiltsy. Push down on this, and then you got you got to pedal to make it go. It's faster than your life. Don't let that guy over. In the city of Austin, Texas, getting ready for who's number one. Got to do some promotional stuff, which is pretty fucking interesting to say. Stuff I only thought I thought only movie stars did. So getting to do that's pretty cool. I'm kind of an adult now. I don't have a credit card. I have a card now. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much on it. Elevator straight down. To your left. He's, he's fancy. Yeah, I see. He's one of those superstar WWF wrestlers. This looked like Jacob made the bed. <laughs> Andrew, welcome to Austin. Thanks for being a part of who's number one? Craig Johns versus Ronaldo. I can't read anywhere. I don't know. Oh, fucking slam jams, dude. Ha! <laughs> Is this the biggest show we've all been on? Yeah, I think this is the biggest one that, that we've got to do. And Gordon's the biggest male star potentially ever. Plus, you know, like even the undercard guys at like Craig Jones and everybody has their own huge following. So being that they're both on, it's really super incredible. You know what I mean? It feels like the guys deserve to be here. And then they've, they've put a lot of work in, especially Andrew. He's put a lot of time in, 10 years almost. And, you know, there's going to be a little part of us always, like in Hoosiers, in the final scene, they come from the little tiny gym, and the coach tells them, measure the goal from the top to the bottom. And then he asks the boys what it is in the huge stadium, 10 foot. It's just the same. It's still a mat. doesn't matter what's around it. So the outcome is going to be the same. But, yeah, they deserve this. I'm happy for them. We're glad to be here. Glad to be a part of it. Listen. It's very important that you understand this. Okay. There wasn't just a speech about the Hoosiers thing. It's for you specifically. Sick, thanks for coming in, guys. This is fancy. I don't uh, know if I like this. Come with me. This it's too way fancy way for me. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to run through like real easy, quick um, interview. Just have you introduce yourself, talk about the match. Right. And then I'm going to stop and we'll change the camera angles a little bit. I'll just run you through a couple cool like hero poses where you're looking, cool poses like, for looking like a badass. <laughs> You say a few words for me, Andrew. Test, 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 test. I hope I don't lose tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, Andrew, I'm just gonna run through just a couple quick questions. We got a pot machine. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So first off, would you mind just introducing yourself to me? Give me your name, your, your team, and maybe your belt rank. Okay. Uh, my name is Andrew Wiltsey. I'm from Pedigo Submission Fighting, aka Daisy Fresh, or the guys that have a love affair with flow grappling. I'm a black belt. I've been a black belt for about a year. So first off, I'm just going to have you an easy one. I'm just going to have you look down towards the, towards the ground here. And I'm just going to say action. You're going to look up right at the camera here. What's it like being a superstar? I, I'll tell you when I am one. I'm not really meant to be in the spotlight mentally most of the time. So like everyone's at, having to tell me, look tough for this. Dude, you know, pose like this. I'm like, I don't know how to look tough. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, don't smile, Andrew. I'm like, fuck, I can't. 
can't stop. Maybe just a little bit of shadow wrestling, if that's cool. Just to give my opponent much more confidence. <laughs> <laughs> What can the fans expect from Andrew Wilson when he steps out there on the mats? They can expect us to be all going to Panda Express afterwards for our victory celebration. Would you want to give something to us, like a, like straight to PJ, like, hey PJ, hope you're ready or something like that, I'm coming for you? Hey, if you, if you get me in a submission, man, don't break it, I'll tap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, th thanks Angela. <laughs> It's your time couch. Yeah, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want this level change like that. Right there. Action. My name is Jacob Couch. I'm a purple belt out of Pedago Submission Fighting. What would you say then is your, your um, best attribute, your greatest attribute as a grappler? Uh, my, my greatest attribute as a grappler, probably my mind. I say a lot of funny shit, but like I'm able to process grappling stuff really well and all the mechanics of different uh, different areas of jujitsu. You gotta tell him when he's doing shit, man. No, that was great. You know, I mean, man, it's a uh, it gets it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more than, than we usually get. <laughs> so, in Rhode Island, maybe that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Even in Delaware, that wasn't great. Tell so, me about biscuits of crazy. The whole platter you're gonna drop down, right? Oh yeah, you, sure. Tell us, tell us your real name too. <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, my name is Jacob Couch, aka the Hillbilly Hammer. I was nervous as fuck in the promo shoot. I just like wasn't firing on the questions, I guess, as good as I could have. So it's it's new. It's new. Once I get familiar with it, I'm good. When Friday night comes around, um, how how do you get the win? What's gonna happen there to Elder Cruz when you guys step on the mat? First, I'm gonna crack open the can, pour out the gravy, and I'm gonna proceed to pull the biscuits out of the oven. I'm just gonna lay it on him, man. A snowball has a better chance in hell than he does of beating me. So. <laughs> Appalachian ass whooping. It's basically tailored to 606, so that's, ba that's my area code in Hazard, Kentucky. It's just a, you know, a good thumping from one of us hillbilly folk. Do a fake knockout now. Fake knockout? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> with it. Like, let's oh. do, let's do uh, one position and then. All right. Ready? And action. You don't have to get that close. You can just. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna know nothing about none of this shit, man. <laughs> You're great. Alright, ready? So this is the competition area. So you'll come out over here, you'll have your, you know, pro wrestling entrance over here. <laughs> Put the lights on you. Well, yeah, it's practice. <laughs> and now, from Shucky Bean Holler. Jacob Couch. That's your move? Who are you pointing at though? There ain't no crowd. <laughs> Jacob Couch, tell me about your historical record breaking 10 second submission, was it? Uh, yeah, it was 10 seconds. Uh, I'm the best purple belt in the world. There's not much else to it. I'm not gonna say that ever. Don't put that in there, please. <laughs> This is the biggest card I've ever been on. Gordon Ryan's on the card, Gabby Garcia's on the card, Gio, all these guys. Feels pretty fucking surreal, dude. Those are people I've studied and shaped my game around, especially like Gordon and Craig and all those guys. Like, I've always looked up to them ever since I got into Jiu-Jitsu. So, being able to be on the same card as them, it means a lot. It means a whole lot to me. Being able to showcase what I've worked on for so many years now is gonna be something. I was like, Standing here and picturing how Friday night's gonna be. With everybody in here and all the lights on, all the smoke going, all the music playing. Ever since I found out about this match, all I could picture in my head was me tapping out in under two minutes. That's why I keep saying it like that. I'm not saying it to be uh, to be an asshole. I just wanna win and be the best. So that's all I give a fuck about. Friday I get the chance to do that, so it's, it's a really excited. I've been trying to take in every moment all day just so I could remember everything about it. I get used to it. The 
scenery is beautiful. You know, the uh, depressing gray, great touch. Great touch. Ever had that idea? Up their salary, bonus. <laughs> My first time here, this is fucking like surreal. This is awesome. This is like, this is the very first office building I've ever been to in my entire life. It kind of looks like the movies, I guess. <laughs> so I've never been in here. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's a lot more open, actually. I'm about to go live on the Flow Grappling IG. Oh shit, we're live. Hell yeah. What's up? Ain't even nobody on here. I'm saying hello to myself. We're at Flow Sports. <coughs> HQ. I'm a little disappointed. They have absolutely zero Mountain Dew. Like none. I'll, I'll talk to my people. Get my people in touch with their people. What is down here? What in the fuck is that thing? What the fuck is that, dude? Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, what? What is that about, dude? They definitely ain't got that in Hazard. I'm not gonna put my feet up on the table. I respect. Figuratively, I'm putting my feet up on the table, though. Oh my god. Oh, you can't hear anything in here. This is crazy. This is, this is what those rappers use and shit. That's where all the magic happens. Check one, two. All right, Mike's good. When did that get there? Oh, okay. Right. She doesn't bite or anything. She's very sweet. So, I basically took over today. Keeping everybody in check, make sure they're working. I've just been doing some interviews and stuff, taking a few pictures. I ain't got no sweat now. It took me a second to adjust, just because it's all a little new to me, but I'm good now, I'm gravy. I'm gravy, baby. Professional promotions. Are you getting used to it yet? Uh, I don't know what that even means. <laughs> I don't like having to do pictures. It's not very photogenic. <laughs> What's all over you? I spilled a monster energy on it, bro. It smells like monster. You're gonna make weight, Andrew? Yeah, I'm, I, I can weigh in my clothes. Uh, I'm not going to because I want to show you guys the body by pan that we're working on. About to do this press conference, get the ball rolling, keep envisioning the same thing I've been envisioning for the last four weeks. Just winning. Welcome to the official weigh-ins for who's number one, Craig Jones versus Ronaldo Jr. In the first weigh-in, Jacob Couch and Elder Cruz. Couch and Elder Cruz. I think when it comes to most of the competitors on the card, they definitely have the most heat towards each other. Jacob Couch, 214 even. You can step back right over here, Elder Cruz. He has literally no submission potential at all. I've studied the guy front to back. I know him like the back of my hand. I got some tricks up my sleeve for him to deal with him running away. Fucking, I'll do anything to get the job done. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Good luck with everything. Smile. Okay. And be Jacob Couch. All right. Don't worry about anybody else. All right. Have fun, buddy. I'll try. Hey. Be nice. All right, everybody, welcome to the official Who's Number One press conference here at the Flow Sports HQ in Austin, Texas. I'm sitting here with two of the athletes on the card, but we have a big card going on tomorrow night. Jacob Couch, the Hillbilly Hammer, versus Elder Cruz, El Monstro. Me and Elder actually competed at uh, American Nationals Nogi against each other, and uh, he had uh, got the W via ref's decision over me. So, you know, being the competitor that I am, I've, I just came back hungry. What did you think when we when we reached out to you and told you Couch wanted to match match the Olympians number one? He was having nightmares of me. He's probably like, Coach, you know, I'm the I'm the next up and coming. You know what I mean? You better get that fight. It's true, Couch. You're having nightmares. Uh, no, not too many. The only thing scary about El Monstro is that he thinks he can beat me. So what's your prediction for the match, Couch? Me via submission in under two minutes. El no. Monstro, what do you think? He he only has two minutes of gas tank. Look at his body. I mean, he's not, he's not ready. El Monstro, El Monstro via Strangle. All right, El Monstro via Strangle, all right. Need uh, to strangle your ego, bro. <laughs> he'll build a hammer versus El Monstro. The first match tomorrow night is going to be free on all our social media and on the site. Coming up next, we'll have Danielle Kelly and Jessica Kahn. Thanks a lot, guys. Who's blue? First match of the main card here, we have P.J. Barch from 10th Planet. P.J. would come way in. PJ way under, we're going, going with all his clothes on. You're actually under 184.4 with everything on. All right, Andrew Wiltsy. 
184.6. All right, guys, so both stand right here behind the scale looking at Reed. Turn and face each other. All right, now hug. I mean, jiu-jitsu is basically just aggressive hugging anyways. I'll fucking hug. <laughs> Andrew, what do you know about PJ going into this? Uh, I, I was told by all of my friends he's going to out-wrestle me, <laughs> essentially, right. uh, and jump on my legs and do heel hooks, and that's not good for my health. PJ's going to out-wrestle you. He's going to leg lock you. That's your analysis for the match? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a hard guard to pass out yeah. of that. <laughs> I know he's from 10th Planet. I know he can wrestle. Uh, those are my only two facts. Someone told me he runs stairs a lot, so I'm like, oh man, his cardio's gonna be good. <laughs> well, I wasn't able to have any orange chicken for like six days to make sure I was on weight, so I'm kind of sad. But, That's uh, a long time though, six days without orange yeah, chicken's a long time? I'm starting to get the shakes a little bit. All right, I'll, same question to PJ. When was the last time you had orange chicken? I stopped eating Panda a while ago, actually, man. Yeah. But, but the, there, there's a good one in Hilo, Hawaii. Uh, probably, the, actually, I think it's the best. I think it's the number one panda in the country. I swear to God, that's actually where I first had Panda Express is Hilo. Shut up. Yeah, because my mom. Me was too. The guy, like, yeah. This is getting weird, man. <laughs> this is getting a little weird. I don't but even I, think we gotta have this match anymore. These guys just became Panda Express friends. <laughs> you had it in Hilo? Yeah. It was decent. It was. It's Panda. It's amazing. Um, mean, <laughs> over there by the <laughs> over there by the mall in Hilo, Hawaii. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Saw you kind of smiling. You're sitting out here. What were you thinking about? Uh, just how far uh, I've came and how far I can go. The evolution of my career, evolution of me as a person, all the people that have helped me do that. Just being here right now, like even talking to you, just laying down on the Who's Number One mat, which is like the biggest stage in grappling. It feels like uh, it feels like the puzzle pieces are getting put together one by one. Today it just feels like it was uh, today just feels like it was really meant to be. I'm meant to be. I'm meant to be here. I'm meant to win tonight. I'm meant to be successful in my career. So it's just just one of those things, I guess. Do you guys do it, bro? Don't record that. I love it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it smells so bad. I haven't. I don't have any deodorant. I don't want to ask nobody. Can you confirm that cat smells? It's it's pretty bad. It's no. It's like a it's like an aphrodisiac, right? It's like an aphrodisiac. No, not this one. <laughs> not this one. It's exactly the opposite. No, hey, that's the natural must, bro. <laughs> yo yo yo, what's up? My boy's about to do work. Let's go. About to do work. Woo! Every time he pulls guard, you can take guys. him down. He's God. You can do whatever you want. Oh, You're better in every single area than this guy, Andrew. Every single area, I promise you. Just tucked in. Yeah. I believe so. Is that how we want it? Yeah. Let me see your butt. Oh. I don't think you can lose. No, sure can't. Okay. Like that. No. Keister like that. I ain't losing. <laughs> Keister. Thank you, everybody, for coming here tonight. We're really excited. The main thing is, rules number one, everything is about putting on a good match. And our rules are made for that. Our judges look at everything, okay? It's not just a submission. They look at everything. Tell me who you are. Jacob Couch. And what are you? A grappler. A champion. Champion. Listen, for, for everything that you've ever been through, all the stuff that you've ever done, for all, all the stuff that your grandma didn't get so she could give you, all the time you spent away from home, the sacrifices you made, it's all for this, for 15 right minutes. But there's no pressure because you can't lose to us because you already won. I'm a winner already. I'm a winner having you guys up here with me. What you do is you let everybody that's from the place that you're from and the type of place that I'm from know that they can really do something if they just work as hard as they can and never quit. That's you. You are a living proof of that. You're an example to many people. You don't even realize it. Listen, you're going to have a lot of shots in your lifetime, but this one is the first one that you earned with the biggest, best 
crap was in the world. You're the best, and we're already proud of you. And you're the man, you're gonna do it. I'm proud of you, buddy. Now, let's go win, take this home, and do what you do. Representing Pedigo Submission Fighting, Jacob Couch. His name is Jacob Couch, but you know him better as the Hill Billy Hammer. Representing Checkback Jiu Jitsu, Elder Cruz. But seated immediately to the guard is Jacob Couch. Elder Cruz on top. There's a bit of a rivalry between these two. Elder Cruz holds a recent win over Jacob Couch. He's got to come forward, Jacob. Jacob Couch, he looks like a younger Gordon Ryan, the way he lays his style out here. You can see him hunting for arm drags. Good, his hips are straight back. He's ready to run, ready to run. Keep pulling yourself under him, Couch. Good, Couch, he's just coming down, running, coming down, running. He's trying to put your hips flat, runs away when you come for him. Just keep trying to go underneath him. Good, just keep chasing him, Couch, keep chasing him. Elevate and then under, elevate and then under. There you go, let's go, perfect. When he's moving, that's when you gotta go under. Couch, you don't disengage, you gotta come forward too. There you go. You gotta stick to him. He's leaving his elbows out everywhere. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Couch, at the moment, he's really unable to control Cruz's upper body in an effective way that can even begin to destabilize him. Pull him forward and lift. We need some offense, Couch. Now come forward, Couch, come forward, let's go. It's time to pick the pace up. You're five and a half minutes left, Couch. You're doing good regarding, but we gotta get some, something going. He has to get something going, too. Underneath, underneath, underneath. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Forcing Couch to the turtle position here, jumping over the side with a solid front headlock now. Slip it out, Couch. Slip it out. There you go. Now come up. Now come up forward. Forward, forward, forward. Nice. This is it, Couch. Let's go. This is what we need, Couch. We need to start forcing these. Keep forcing it. Keep forcing it. Keep forcing it. You know he's going to run. You know he's going to disengage. You guys can see it. you got to get underneath him. Lock the arms, lock the hands, lock the hands. Three minutes, couch. There's a nice jumping guard pass. Look at that, side to side. Beautiful work there by Cruz. Got the rear body lock, one hook in, two hooks in. This is dangerous for hips couch. Out, hips out, hips out, hips out, hips out. Phenomenal sequence there from Elder Cruz. Let's go, hey, you're looking for it as you're coming out of there. You're looking for it as you're coming out of there. Sit through, sit through, sit through, sit through. Nice, there you go. Now go, couch, attach, go. 130, 130, couch, everything you got. 55, couch, 55, let's go. 35, couch, 35. Let's see, we're gonna get the uh, official result. It is unanimous for red. Elder Cruz takes this one by the Your winner, Elder Cruz. Your winner, Elder Cruz. Can you stop recording, please? You did just fine, man. You don't have to be... That's how it goes. You, you know the stuff you got to work on, you build. It's not the end of the world. You, you lose your... It you, looked like I was trying, didn't it? Of course. At least. I don't, I just don't want people to think I'm out there quitting. I, just, I didn't quit. I just thought... Uh, nobody thinks that. Nobody's going to think that. 
you did good, you just, uh, you'll figure it out and we'll come back and get it in. You'll be back. All right. I'm gonna go get Andrew ready. Okay. You'll be back. Let's go, let's go get Andrew ready. You know when someone works so hard at something and they want it so much and they don't come out on top, it rips your heart out, you know what I mean? So Elder executed his game plan a little better than Catch. You know, he deserved the win and, uh, you know, Catch is going to have to get back in the lab and mix it up and figure out the things that he did wrong and we'll hammer him out. And uh, hopefully he picks up more from this. You know, maybe that's what he needed. He's had a big hype train behind him, so, you know, maybe it was just time for that to get slowed down and him to, to get back in and hammer things out and fix the problems. For a lot of us, it's all or nothing, but him, it really is. He has nothing else. Everyone in his hometown does nothing, goes nowhere. And he's the only one to do this. So he, he feels like if he doesn't win and accomplish and, and do what he has to do here, that he's a failure. So he's like especially hard on himself. But when you come up short, I was just like, dude, it's all good. We don't care. I don't give a fuck. You know, just move on to the next one. It, it, it doesn't matter. As long as you can take something positive from it, as long as you can take a lesson from it, then it's all good. Just keep moving forward. That, that's all there is to it. So he just like would not do anything, bro. Until, until, well, I guess, you know, everybody, I respect his strategy. He got my back. It's cool. It ain't shit. It ain't shit, man. On to the next one. Don't let this shit bring you trip. Focus on him. Let's get my right, on with him. Good. All right. I came out and, uh, Tried to implement my game plan, you know. Elder, really tough competitor, great athlete. Uh, had a great game plan. Keep his hips back, keep his hips back, keep his hips back. I eventually got frustrated with his game plan. Cracked open the can a little bit more than I should have, a, a little bit too much gravy poured out. So he got on my back and then it's a well-earned win for him. Uh, I'm sure we'll see each other in the future. How are you going? I'm good, I'm good. It hurts, but I'm good. What hurts? The loss, it oh. hurts, but I'm good. I forgot you lost already. Fuck, I'm, I wish I could do that. I tell you that right now. You will. <laughs> Remember, don't don't sweat the small things. And they're all small things. It's all small things, man. All right. You'll be all right. Good deal. You get it back. <laughs> He's a good competitor. You run into him a lot. You'll be back on here. You know, you just got to work your way back up to it. Good deal. Easy as. I, I don't feel like a killer right now, but I don't feel like a bitch either. I'm actually nervous about the 15 minutes is what it is. I haven't done a 15 minute match, because that's actually a long time to grapple hard. You know, if you're fucking around with people that are worse than you, it's not so bad. If they're as good as you, good enough to push you, then that's a long time. So we'll see how it goes today. Representing Pettigo Submission Fighting, the star of the Daisy Fresh series, Andrew Wiltsey. This is Boy to the Map, representing 10th Planet, a black belt under Eddie Bravo, PJ Let's go, Andrew. A middleweight match made at 185 pounds. Quick arm drag there from Wilty Wilson. No time. Good, close, close, close. Good, shin it out, shin it out. Good, Andrew. Big deep breath, big deep breath. 130 down. Good, got that inside control, you look good. Ooh, I like that leaping guillotine attempt there from PJ. A little bit of creativity coming in. When you come underneath, he's waiting to attack the foot. Nice, nice. Good shit, good job. Good uh, angle, he's looking to sit into that heel hook, Andrew. When he gets that angle, you know that's there. Just keep good retention, good retention. I will see in here now. Oh, nice. Uh, a a outside heel hook. Up, up, up. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, good attempt, baby, good attempt. Keep it up. There, again, going for now this uh, leg lock position. He's got the control of the ankle. He's got the X guard. Now look at the stand up with that ankle control. Right on the edge of bounds there. Chasing, chasing, chasing. All right. Good, same thing, same thing. Beautiful knee guard pass. pass. Good, dog fighting, dog fighting, dog fighting. Good, good stuff, Andrew, good, good, good. There we go. Oh, beautiful little scoop there and good, almost good, good. coming up. This is the thing, it's hard to scramble PJ. He's quicker on the feet, isn't he? Good entries, brother, good entries. Good, good. 
Up, 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 up. Good, good, good. Hey, nothing close, nothing close. We're coming up on that. Make sure we end up on top on that. That was close. <laughs> Good, good, good. Hey, it's your match, it's your match, here it comes. Hey, make it count, make it count. There nice. you go, Andrew, good, good. Get to the hip. This is good, could he get the back of him here? Getting higher up on the leg, climbing his way up, but once again, Bosch just very, very comfortable in his defense. Nice, nice, nice. Man, good shit, you look good, man. You're right there, bro, you're right there. Stay on top, PJ, you can't win on the back. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Dude, it's your W right here. 29 Andrew. seconds, 29 seconds. Hey, retention, retention, retention. retention. See, there again, trying to step that leg in is Barch, but there, climbing up high, and time goes. We're gonna go Yo. to a judge's decision. Andrew's fired up. It is blue. All three judges have scored it for Andrew Wiltsey of Pedago. Andrew, man, last year was your breakout year, of course. You were promoted to black belt, and since then, you were the pan no -gi champion. It's been a, uh, a pleasure watching uh, you here on Who's Number One tonight. Any shout outs before you get out of here? Uh, yeah, let me give a shout out to Sherrill for sponsoring me when I was a blue belt. Obviously, Heath Pedigo and my teammates. Uh, if they weren't kind of kicking my ass in the gym, I probably would have got my ass kicked today, so. All right, here with Andrew Wilty, victorious tonight up against a very tough opponent, PJ Barch. How are you feeling about your performance right now? I, I don't feel bad about it, man. I was I was playing smart for a 15-minute match. I could have gotten one of those takedowns. Like I think I could have stayed, stood up and wrestled longer. But I don't. I didn't actually get really tired. I was just the the caution of trying not to get tired was holding me back. Maybe I'm just a pussy. I don't know. <laughs> Kind of was coming into this with not the highest confidence. You know, I was training hard, but I, I, I wasn't really in the right mindset. But that's the thing that people don't realize about being bipolar is it's just kind of like a constant fight against myself to like remind myself I don't suck at jujitsu and remind myself I can beat people and I'm not going to get tired in two seconds and I, I can actually do this. Andrew's match was good. He looked uh, incredible. People forget he's a rookie black belt still, so this is like his first year competing with COVID. It kind of fucked everything up. A lot of people sleep on him. He, I, I think he's the best black belt in the world at that weight class by far. We're just kind of waiting around for more tournaments to pop up, more opportunities to pop up, for everyone to realize that, that he's the best, best in the world. His career is doing incredible, man. He, he just got a DVD deal, and he's such a wonderful teacher. The first DVD, I've had nothing but fantastic reviews on it. Mike said it sold $13,000. As of today, it's been out for like two weeks, which is, that just blows my mind. Uh, I've spent my entire career kind of accumulating all this knowledge and guard passing is my favorite thing to do. I love jujitsu. So just to be able to share it with people and have them be like, dude, I've been working on this for the last two weeks and hitting it in class. I just did a tournament. I just mauled everyone doing the buzzsaw stuff. And it just, that, that's exciting for me. That means a lot. I'm really happy about that. So I think in the next month or two, our Nogi DVD is going to come out, our, our Gi side control DVD is going to come out, and we have our Gi passing DVD that's coming out. I, I think we're actually going to make a little bit of money and maybe be able to start eating healthier and kind of getting our life put together a little bit in ways we haven't been able to do. So Panda Express is now following me on Instagram. They are getting harassed by an army of Panda Express fans, which is the, just the coolest fucking thing ever. They've commented on my post, good luck tonight, Andrew Wiltsey, and then I won. I'm still waiting to see if they're gonna reach out to me for potentially a sponsorship. If I could get a Shoya Roll Panda Express collaboration gi of some kind or no gi, oh my God, dude, my heart would fucking explode. I mean, it's close to doing that most of the time because of the caffeine, but dude. <laughs> Hey, you know, but you always but you always making jokes and you know, like you know. Let's go. Hey, uh, I'm see What's up? We just went from one minute to two million now. Yeah. <laughs> The price yeah. went up. Yeah. There you go. Here's your one million dollars. Uh, but uh, yeah. okay, for let me get a loan, though, man. Hey, I always pay everybody back.
So long story short, Gordon slapped him in the face and asked him if he wants to fight. Then he smacked him in the face again, and then he really wasn't uh, too interested in fighting. And, you know, if he wanted to get it in, they would have got it in right there. I just happened to be innocent bystander that was right there. So it was a great ending to the night. It spiced things up a little bit. I know. He, did, he, didn't, want, he didn't want to smoke. He, he knows that old man strength's coming. That old man, 40 year old. Oh, fuck, dude. What the dude, hell? Dude, don't, they don't you squeeze guys. his ribs, man. We're old as fuck, bro. <laughs> this shit hurts us. It takes us three weeks to get better. I saw like snapping down. Oh, it was awesome because every time he punched bad, he just stand back up. I wasn't touching his head at all, and I was like trying to play the angle the whole time. That I just forgot to hang on his head. That's why his <laughs> position's better because you can sweep, yes. stand up, yes. and submit. Yes. Whereas knee shields more like uh, it's good if they're trying to pass, you know. Right. More defensive, not good if they're not engaging. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate right. it, bro. You're a young man. You did incredible. You're gonna be the best. You just fucking. Keep working. Listen, that shit doesn't mean anything. It does. You just gotta fix the little things that happen. It's all good. Take just small, tiny mistakes, dude. Take the positive from everything. The biggest, the best moment of his life was losing to Andrew. At the, at they the had trial. a super fight yeah, at the trial. He said that was the best thing that ever happened. He was a black belt then, or just got his black yeah. belt. Listen, Couch is uh, one of them kids that, like, right now he he's. He, he believes in his mind that he is all in, but he hasn't realized yet that there's still a lot of things he can do to still be all in. Chasing the lady folk. That's a bad one. I gotta remember that one. That one. Eating <laughs> gluttonly. That's real bad. No, for, I mean, there's just some small things. You know, you, if you want to be professional, you gotta act like a professional and all that's part of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade this experience for nothing, regardless if I won or lost. This is like the opportunity of a lifetime for a kid like me, you know. Anything from nothing, something from where I come from. So being here and being able to be on this card and compete alongside these guys and a great competitor like Elder is like something to behold. I was a little distraught, like immediately after the loss, obviously, like, you know, any true competitor would be. I lost the match, but it's really hard to feel like a loser when you have, like, all these friends and all these different people that support you and care about you so much. That's just something like I've kind of always like longed for my whole life really is to be a part of something special and I believe the highest peaks come from the lowest valleys. Losses happen to everybody. Everybody loses. Nobody goes undefeated their entire career, you know. Being in the position I am, it's just so hard not to realize how much potential my team has how much potential I have, and how far we can all go if we just keep believing in each other and just keep working hard. Jacob, he had nothing, and he, he worked really hard to make an opportunity for himself. And getting on this show was such a major opportunity, you know, and if jiu-jitsu is what you love, this is what you dream about, you know, being on the biggest stage and competing with the best people, you know, and rubbing shoulders with the greats of the sport, and, and that's what he did tonight. For me, I don't do this to get wins. I love that the guys win, and I love that we have the opportunity to be here and perform on the stage. That helps the brand grow. But for me, the brand growing helps me help other people. You know, it's, it, it's not about the guys being the best jujitsu guys in the world always. It's about them being able to showcase their skills, get out of whatever life or whatever situation that they were in, and help other people see that they're also able to do that. No, ask me some questions so then I can get some deep shit for you. Okay, so. The required promo photo shoots. Uh, Andrew's 3 p.m., Jacob's 3.30. You guys are first. We have a game plan for that? What's the hero shots you're gonna do? I'm gonna rub my nipples on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hammer, it's a rubber mallet. <laughs> you're gonna call it something. Call it the right thing, it's a rubber mallet. Should you be the hillbilly mallet? <laughs> That might be the dumbest shit I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you guys for everything, man. I'll catch you next time. And thanks for making the boys feel special, man. It means a lot to me. This is a movie poster of our... It's bad. Oh, fuck. Cool. We'll get that baby framed up for sure. We'll get that nice and framed up under some glass. It's, it's looking good. good. It's got wow. the guys' names on it here on the bottom. Out of all the things uh, in, in my uh, professional like life, that I've done, I feel like this is uh, the greatest thing that's helped me reach the most people and help the most people and help the guys' lives. So 
it's a it's an amazing gift and it really means a lot. Andrew, congratulations, three and zero on the Who's Number One stage. How does it feel? That sounds a lot better than two and one. <laughs> The BGJ Fanatics DVDs have actually been doing really, really well in the store. To the point where me and Bird are kind of just like not sure what to do with the actual money. I just upgraded the box a little bit. Now I got a front yard and a backyard. I got a dog. I got everything I, I want in life. You know I mean, I can live in the gym or attached to the gym with a dog. You know, I can actually go and do all the competitions now. I can, I can afford to eat a little healthier now. So right now we are on our way up to the Toyota dealership in town. We actually have sold so many instructionals on the BGJ Fanatics website that we can afford to start doing monthly payments on a new car. I think we're gonna get a brand new Toyota Corolla. So I have a meeting with Panda Express Corporate at four. I have gone and written down the stats for the BGJ community on Reddit, for the Flow Grappling Instagram, for the Flow Grappling YouTube, for my Instagram, my YouTube. Something I can kind of show them that we, as Daisy Fresh and me as a person, we have community outreach. I think we can get the sponsorship today. This is the first time I've been able to actually talk to them, talk to a higher up from Panda Express. I'm charismatic. I think we can fucking do it, man. The first fucking jujitsu athlete to ever be sponsored by a fast food company. <laughs> the best fast food company. We're doing big things. We're doing big things over here at Daisy Fresh. <laughs>